Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 4 here bringing you another Minecraft BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building USS Key West, a member of the Los Angeles class of submarines. The Los Angeles class of submarines are nuclear-powered fast attack submarines in service with the United States Navy. 62 were built from 1972 to 1996, the latter 23 to an improved 688i standard. As of 2022, 26 of the Los Angeles class remain in commission, more than any other class in the world, and they account for more than half of the U.S. Navy's 50 fast attack submarines. Submarines of this class are named after American towns and cities, such as Albany, New York, Los Angeles, California, and Tucson, Arizona, with the exception of USS Hyman G. Rickover, named for the father of, nu of the nuclear navy. This was a change from traditionally naming attack submarines after marine animals, such as USS Seawolf for USS Shark. Rickover's response to the decision name the submarines after cities and occasionally politicians influential and defensive issues was that fish don't float. Um, so yeah, the Los Angeles class here, a pretty uh, widely recognizable submarine class. Again, as I mentioned, the kind of main submarine uh, force for, for a fast attack, not really uh, designed for deploying nuclear ICBMs or anything like that, but this is designed, again, kind of solely for an anti-shipping purpose. Um, so it's a really cool thing, and the USS Key West is still in service, but I believe is slated to be decommissioned here in the next few years. Uh, but, you know, still a really cool class, and uh, definitely nice to pay homage to that class with it being such a important part of the uh, Navy's arsenal for quite a bit of time. Now, before we go ahead and move into this tutorial, I do want to go ahead and give a big thanks to Derek Frost Glushbrook for commissioning this build. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, definitely feel free to check out my commission program which basically just involves you sending an email to my email, garrett 2 4 gmail.com, or reaching out to me through Discord, and uh, we can go ahead and kind of get you set up on a commission of uh, your choosing and all that stuff. So uh, really nice stuff to kind of help benefit the channel and, uh, you know, really support the work uh, that uh, I do here and obviously get you a request that you really want. So with that, let's uh, go ahead and dive in and take a look at this build. It's really simple and honestly one of our smallest submarines we've done for our modern Navy. But we have uh, basically the hull, again, pretty standard, just the black submarine hull. It also is followed up with the conning tower. Um, as you can see there, we have the diving planes on the side of the conning tower as well. And then we go ahead and move our way back here and we have the tail which has your, uh, again, more diving planes, stabilizers, fins, all that stuff, and then your prop on the very back. So again, it's a really simple, pretty small sub in relatively modern standards, but uh, should be a cool addition to add to any of your American fleets as this is a really prominent sub that has been in service for years. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our tutorial. Uh, for the USS Key West, Los Angeles class submarine. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving into the tutorial here, we're going to be going ahead and starting off with by going ahead and getting our centerline of the ship set up. Now, if you do want to build this in the water, um, submerged or I should say surfaced, um, you will want to make sure you build this at a certain height. So this first section we're going to be starting with here is going to be this middle section of the of the uh, submarine going all the way down. This here is going to sit at that water level. So you're going to have your water level here and this is where this section is going to start. So again, if you want to have this in the water, that is where you want to have it started. If you want to have this more submerged um, underwater, then you can obviously change the depth of this however you want it to make it more in the water. Um, with that though, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do after the black, we're going to place our black concrete block, we're going to place now polished black stone wall going forward of it. We're going to go back from this block, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 blocks back, a polished black stone wall, and then a birchwood trapdoor like that on the back. We're also going to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor to both sides of this black concrete, and then two dark oak wood trapdoors coming off the sides like that going forward. We then want to place down two black stained glass panes to both sides, and then we're going to follow this up with a row of polished black stone walls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 walls. And then a black stained glass pane on the front here. Same thing is going to happen over here on this side. So just like that. After that is all done, we want to go ahead and then drop down to the bottom here. We're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor on that bottom block on the front. And then we're going to go ahead and just take our red nether brick top slabs and we're going to place down a row of top slabs back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. A red nether brick top, so that was back. We then want to place down a red nether or a red stained glass pane and a red nether brick wall like that going back. And then going upwards now for this top section, we're going to place down a polished black stone wall here. And on top of that wall, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a wither skeleton skull. Then we're going to place down a black stained glass pane going forward from that. And we're also going to go ahead and place down two daylight detectors, both turned to night mode. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten polished black stone slabs, two black concrete blocks, and then one, two, three polished black stone slabs, and then a dark oak trapdoor on the very front here like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak trapdoor to both sides of this black concrete block. And we're going to go ahead and place down a black carpet on top of that block like this. If you are not on Java, I'd recommend going ahead and just placing down two black concrete blocks on top here. However, if you are on Java, we're going to go ahead and place down two pistons up on top here. And around these pistons, if you have them placed, we're going to go ahead and place down dark liquid signs around these three sides of this one here. And just the front side of this forward one. We're going to go ahead and then take our uh, end rods and our iron bars. We're going to place down an end rod here, iron bar here. And then we'll use our debug stick, which can be obtained by typing the command slash give at P. Minecraft colon debug underscore sticks so this command right here and press and enter will give you this glowing stick We're gonna left click these pistons with this stick and we're gonna go ahead and then wait till we get the prompt Select and extended false and then right click them and set them to true and that right there will basically finish up my tutorial here for the USS Key West Los Angeles class uh, nuclear attack submarine. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do use this build, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a sign of the build to link to my channel or this video. If this does appear in social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you are free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Um, with that though, again, a big thanks to Derek Frost Westbrook for commissioning this build. And if you guys are interested in commissioning a build, uh, feel free to reach out to me for the channels I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video. And I'd be uh, absolutely happy to work with you. Uh, with that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Miguel 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.